Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to User1 Productions, my name is David. Today we're jumping into the second episode of the Let's Make a Horror Game series. During the last tutorial, if you followed along, we made a mock ladder. Today we're going to be adding a script so the ladder can actually work when our character walks up to it. And then we're going to do some little things like setting up our character a little more. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing my Google Drive with you guys. This is so you guys can download the sounds I use for this tutorial, the scripts, the models, everything. Without further ado, let's open up Unity. I'm just going to right click in here and add a new folder. I'm going to name this folder Scripts. And I'm just going to click and drag my download from the Google Drive, the script of Ladder. We're going to open it up and go over it real quick. I don't want to bore you guys with coding the entire video. So what I'm going to do is before the video even starts, the script is going to be created. And I'll do a brief explanation on how it works. So if we go to the top here, up here at the top you can see I added this line of code using Unity Standard Assets dot characters dot first person. This is going to be different depending on where your character is located. So for example if I go to Unity, you can see mine's in Standard Assets, Characters, and First Person. Next up we have these little variables right here that we can play around with. We have a transform for our player controller, a float for speed which is going to control how fast we go up and down the ladder. We also have the first person controller, which is our player, and an audio source for when we use the ladder. Going on down here into the start function, first thing I make sure of is the editor knows that the player is going to be the name of the script. So say your script is a different name than first person controller. If you're using something else than the standard assets, you would put that in here. And then we want to make sure that our bool for inside the ladder is set to false. Going down to these two voids right here, on trigger enter and on trigger exit. We simply state that if we collide with the object that's tagged with ladder, that our script gets disabled and inside goes to true. And then on the exit, it's the exact same thing, just opposite. So our character controller script gets enabled if we leave and inside the ladder gets set to false. Now in the update function, you can see there's a lot going on here. I'm just going to quickly explain it. You can see that if we are inside the collider for the ladder and we press the W key, our player can go up at the speed we told it to. Same thing if we press S, we go down at the speed we set it to. Then this if else statement states that if we are pressing W while we're inside, our sound gets enabled and then it loops. If we stop pressing W, it gets disabled and it stops looping. And that's pretty much how this script works to sum it up as quickly as possible. Let's head back to the editor. This ladder script, I'm going to click and drag onto the player controller right here. Scroll down to it. In the player controller tab, I'm going to click and drag our player. Same thing with the player right here. Let's open him up real quick. I'm going to right click, create an empty. And I'm going to rename that game object to sounds. This will just help us be a little more organized during the entire series. I'm also going to go to our assets and create a new folder called sounds. Again, from that link in the description, I'm going to click and drag the ladder sound effect into our sounds. As you can see, here it is. We can play it. Now I'm going to add this ladder sound to our scene. I'm going to move it around the player like this. And then I'm going to click and drag it into the sounds empty object we created on the player. Let's move over to this ladder we created. I'm going to click it. Up here at the top, I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to call it ladder. Save. I'm going to click it again and make sure we do tag it, just like that. Next, for the script to work properly, we need to add a little trigger right in front of it. We're going to do that by add component, and we're going to type box collider. We're going to add it. As you're going to see, it just went over the original object. We're going to play with these values right here to bring it out. So on our Z, we're just going to move it over a little bit in front, just like that. I'm going to make it a tad bit skinnier. We're also going to need to be a little bit shorter. For this to work properly with the script, I have found the best way in doing this is trial and error. We need to really get this as close to perfect as possible because when you go up the ladder, it'll jerk you around a little bit if it's not in the right position. And if you have it too low to the ground, you'll actually clip through. So let's keep it right here for right now and see how it works. Since this is a trigger, that box collider we just created, we need the tick is trigger. Let's maximize on play and try this out and see what happens. You might have just heard that the ladder sound effect played in the beginning. That is something we're going to fix as soon as possible. Let's get over to this. I'm next to the ladder. And you can see we are going up. If you look at the cubes on the very left, we are going up. 
I cannot move the controller anywhere else but up and down. And we've made it to the top. So we may have noticed a couple things. The variable for sound is not assigned, which you can see uh, in this error log. So let's go back to the FPS controller, scroll down, because we forgot to add the sound effect that we added to him here onto the script. That will also fix the error of it playing as soon as we go into the game. I'm also going to change this speed to 0.35 so that way we go up quicker. As well as I'm going to go over to our character right here and he's pretty short. I realized that as we were playing, last tutorial we should have made him a little taller. We're going to do that right now. So in our player, I'm going to change his height from 1.8 to 2.3. Let's make sure he's not clipping through the ground. Just pull him up a little bit. What else I'm going to do is grab the camera, which is first person character right here, and pull that up as well. Now if we select the whole thing, the camera's actually in the head portion of him. If we play now, everything should be working properly. Right off the bat, we don't hear the ladder sound effect. You will see that we are taller, and it looks more realistic. Now if we go up to the ladder, oh, I missed, that is my fault. Let's get up to that ladder. That is way more realistic. You'll notice that he jitters at the top, but that is because I didn't set up the collider, and obviously you guys will want to do that a little more. But, it is a fully functional ladder. Now we have a fully functional ladder. There's a few little more things that I would like to do in this tutorial. Uh, first, we're going to change the clipping planes of the character, and then we're going to make the FOV a little bit wider. How we do this is very simple. We go to this camera object right here inside of our player. I will be changing clipping planes near to 0.1 instead of 0.3. Let me show you why real quick. If I play this game, and say I walk over here behind this little slope, and I walk up to it, you can see we're actually looking through it, and we don't want that at all. So, I will be changing this to 0.1. If we play the game now, and go behind the slope, you can see it no longer does that. Perfect. And then FOV is just personal preference. I always like to put it at 80 for most of the games I create. And all that does is allow you to see more of the scene. For a comparison, this is 80, and this is the stock 60. It's all personal preference for the game that you want to create, but that's how I like to set up my character. That's pretty much all I want to cover in today's video, you guys. I do want to show you the Google Drive that I created. When you guys click the link in the description, it'll bring you to this where you can see scripts and sounds. And this is where you guys can download pretty much everything that I do in this tutorial series. I want to provide you with all the material that I show. Also, if you guys have any questions or concerns about this series or something you'd like to see implemented into this, leave a comment and I'll cover it in a future video. On my last video, Velotive, I think that's how you say it, says this is very cool. In the next part, can you make a fully operatable door? Which I replied with, yes, I do plan on doing a tutorial on doors in an upcoming tutorial. Stay tuned. So that means in the next tutorial, you guys, we're going to be covering some more little, little things like we did today with the camera FOV and clipping planes, as well as our main focus, which is going to be making doors. Until next video, you guys, remember to drop me a like, subscribe, click that notification bell if you're new, and leave me a comment of what you think of the series so far and where you want the series to go. Until the next video, you guys, this is User1 Productions signing off for now. I'll catch you in the next one. See you all later.